Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to make another quick video here. Um, this is a safety one on just how to um, safely jack up your car or vehicle on jack stands. Um, right now it's on three, uh, two in the front there, one in the, the right side of the rear here. Um, I'm currently taking it down and just thought, hey, this would be a good time. So I will try not to ramble too much. It's easy to with a topic like this on safety, but basically what you're gonna need for sure is a good solid floor jack here and then some jack stands there. So I have four jack stands just cause I like to lift it up, rotate my tires on my own. Um, so I'm at the rear side of the, the driver's side here. Um, a lot of times car manufacturers will have a little indicator, a little faint arrow or something along the pl either plastic or the frame here um, to indicate where it's safe to jack up your car. Like even if you're on the side of the road and you're just trying to change a flat, um, good place to put the jack. So let's see how much you can see here. You can see how rusted this is, but you can also see more importantly how bent the metal is in different areas. And that's from other people before me trying to use this area. And this is exactly why I don't use it. See, the rust just gets worse and worse as we go up my car. Because the Midwest and salty roads are not fun. So, and they don't like your car. So this is so stinking rusted. I can't, I couldn't even do this and wouldn't want to if I, like, there's so much bent metal here. It's not safe. So what I've done, at least here in the front. I, I have my two larger jack stands and honestly, anything like a car is roughly maybe 4,000 pounds ish on the heavy side, I'm guessing. So even if you got like a, I think these are like three ton jack stands, mine are holding 6,000 pounds, that's, that's fine. So what you're gonna wanna do is find a part of the frame that it can have rust, honestly, in my personal opinion, because it is probably surface rust. It's much stronger metal, steel, I guess I'm not entirely sure what they're made of, um, but it's part of the frame holding together the whole car. So as you can see here, what this is on, it has a, it's not shiny metal, but it's also not falling apart. And if I was to take a wire brush to it, it would probably clean it up pretty well. Um, so I just find a solid spot and then get your jack stand set underneath it as close to the car as you can. Like as close to the, the metal there. And then start lowering, you, you jack it up with a floor jack, you put your jack stands under and then you just very slowly start to set it on top. It's gonna make a little creaking or something when it's starting, so go nice and slow. Just make sure that no metal is bending at all. And if so, immediately start jacking it back up. Like you don't want you want to make sure you find somewhere that doesn't bend. I have found here in the rear it can be a little bit harder. I've never tried this. <clears throat> but I've have seen videos of people that jack it up based on like the control arm here in the back. Honestly, it's not part of the frame. I don't want to damage suspension and I don't know a whole ton about that. So like I feel like people would jack it up somewhere like like on this piece right here hard to see I'm sorry but it's just it gets tough and then also back here you have these like cable lines brake lines you got to be careful of so personally like in my car there it's pretty rusted I tried jet letting a jack stand sit there it started bending immediately so I had to just pretty much put it right where the jack is you can see the metal frame Point, right there the end of my finger jack stand is so far under the car but it's the only place I could find that wasn't rusted and so sometimes what you can do is put a small block of wood um, on top of the jack it that's not as safe but sometimes it doesn't bend as much I found if you don't have metal on metal and you have a piece of wood in the middle um, just be very very careful um, again read all like even read your owner's manual it might give an indication of how to jack up your car safely because every car may be a little bit different but honestly that's pretty much it guys i'm sorry for being again long-winded but if you have any questions let me know 
um, and be safe when you're jacking up your cars.